Following on from the previous video, we were trying to answer this question and we got to this stage here where when k is 6, the uh, common ratio would be 2. So when, is, when k is 6, common ratio is 2. That means uh, your first term is 2, you times 2, and then you times 2. We got to a stage where when k is negative 4, when k is negative 4, r would be negative a half, which means your first term is negative 8, you times by negative a half, and then you times by negative a half again. So our next step is to find a value of r for which you can sum up the whole series, uh, the whole uh, sequence. So here, when you times two all the time, when you times two all the time, you can't actually sum up the whole sequence. The, the sum will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So when r is two, you can't really sum up your sequence because um, the formula for the uh, for the sum of the sequence is given by this, which I'm expecting you to know. You can only sum it up when r is less than 1, when the absolute is less than 1. Here, r is 2. Uh, the absolute value of 2 is actually bigger than a half, uh, than, than 1. So, so you can't really sum it up. There is no sum. But in a case where r is negative a half, negative half, when you take the absolute value, it is a half. A half is less than one. So you can sum up this whole thing. You see, when you, when you times by negative a half, times by negative, uh, times by negative a half, you can actually sum up everything here. To sum it up, you simply follow this formula. So our first term, a1, hang on, let's try and sum up um, for the case. You see, for this question here, you can only sum it up when r is negative a half. You can't sum it up when r is um, r is two. You can't. So you can only sum it up when r is negative a half. So let's try and sum it up. So s equals s equals the first term, which is negative eight. That's our first term divided by one take away our negative a half. So that means uh, plus a half, plus a half. So that would mean um, three over two, three over two. So let's try and tidy this up. Uh, this then equals um, negative eight uh, times the reciprocal of the bottom. So this gets multiplied to the top. That would be uh, negative 16 over 3. So this is your final answer. Okay? So the whole sum is that.